What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So what I want to talk about today is Ford's new 6.8 liter engine. Uh, we recently heard in the past couple of weeks that the, Ontar the Windsor, Ontario engine plant is going to be building 6.8 liter engines for Ford for the F-150 and the Mustang. That's right, a 6.8 liter Mustang. Now, this is great news, guys, but honestly, uh, it's, um, it's, it's not anything new to me. I've been talking about this for the past few years. If you go back on my channel, you'll see I've posted several videos about putting a big cubic inch pushrod motor in a Mustang, as well as the F F-150s, uh, I should say. But people told me, no, there's no way. There's no way Ford's gonna be putting a, a pushrod motor in a Mustang. They gave up on pushrod motors a long time ago, and they'll never go back. They're going dual overhead cam, it's Coyote, it's Voodoo. It's never gonna be a pushrod motor. Well, as it turns out, my sources were correct. Uh, this 6.8 liter mo uh, motor is gonna go into the Mustang. Now, the, really, the, 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 one of the questions is, what is this 6.8, right? Well, it's a 7.3 Godzilla that's been destroked. Uh, they've destroked it to 6.8 liters. I'm told that it's the same block, same heads, different crank, different rods, same pistons. Uh, Ford had decided to downsize the engine a little bit for the F-150 and the Mustang, but still, 6.8 liters, this is an engine that's gonna pack a punch. And it's gonna be nice to see it in the lineup next to the five liter, because the 6.8 is not gonna replace the five liter. It's just gonna be another engine uh, that's available uh, to, to be put in a Mustang. In all likelihood, it's just gonna be uh, for specialty vehicles. You know, uh, we'll see it in some kind of specialty vehicle, whatever it is that Ford decides to build. You know, like they're building this Mach 1 uh, limited edition car. My guess is the 6.8 liter Mustang is also gonna be a limited edition car. Uh, we'll see what that turns out to be. But they say the 6.8 liter is going into the Mustang. And uh, like I say, it's a variant of the 7.3. So really one of the questions is, why would Ford do something like this, right? Uh, they got great V8 motors. Uh, they got their dual overhead co uh, cam Coyotes, the, uh, the Voodoo engines, they make a lot of power. Uh, why would they go back and, you know, why would they go backwards and go to a pushrod motor? Well, this is a question that was asked e even before they built a 7.3. One of the reasons is uh, now with the uh, more complex engine management systems, uh, you could put together a big cube engine, push rod engine, and still get good fuel efficiency and make a lot of power with it. And uh, push rod engines are cheaper to build, right? Uh, think about it. Dual overhead cam, push rod engine's got one cam, push rod engine's got one phaser, and basically you can create a lot of cubic inches in a smaller compact size. Uh, this is an advantage in terms of, you know, um, basic architecture of the engine. So with the extra cubic inches, this engine is going to produce a lot of torque, and the 6.8 is engineered to produce a lot of mid-range power, which is what you what, what you will want in a sport truck, F-150, and a Mustang. Uh, other reasons for Ford uh, building pushrod motors is that uh, Chevrolet and Mopar, uh, they've been building pushrod motors all along, and they basically have cornered the market for pushrod V8s, right? Well, now at this point, Ford's got two of them. They got the 7.3 and the 6.8. So uh, the, the other brands, uh, uh, Ford, uh, Chevy and Mopar, they no longer corner the pushrod mar market. Ford is right there with them with a couple of good offerings with this 7.3 and this 6.8. So I'm really looking forward to this, guys. Uh, I like the Coyotes. I've, I've got a Gen 3 Coyote supercharged car, and I love it. But I'm really looking forward uh, to what Ford comes out with when they come out with a 6.8 liter Mustang. You know, um, some questions remain now about the about the 6.8. Um, is it going to go, you know, they say it's going to go into the Mustang, but is it going to go into an S550 or is it going to go into the S650? I'm hoping that it's going to come out first in the S550. Uh, look at this rendering of the of an S550 Boss 429. Uh, this rendering showed up a couple of years ago. I've already used it in some of my older videos. I think that this rendering was put out for a reason. I think Ford knew all along that they were gonna build this car. Now a 6.8 is not exactly uh, 429 cubic inches. I think it's uh, 414 or, or 415 or something like that. Well, close enough. Uh, I think that they could use that engine, build an S550 and build a nostalgic uh, Ford, Boss 429 for the public. I think that people will, will go crazy for a car like that. 
Um, I tell you right off the bat, if I see a car like that, I'm hard pressed not to buy one because a Boss 429 is an awesome car. The old one was awesome. And if they build a new one, the new one will be awesome too. Um, some other questions that remain about the 6.8. Will they build it with an aluminum block? Uh, because I'm told that uh, this engine's coming out with a cast iron block, just like the 7.3. Uh, I'm hopeful for an aluminum block, but but we'll see. And um, another question is, will they supercharge it? I'm gonna say they probably will. Uh, so we got a lot to look forward to uh, with, with the new Mustangs coming out in the future. And um, I got some sources that give me information on this stuff. So uh, for more information on this, check back on my channel. Uh, I'll be sure to bring you whatever I got when it comes to uh, uh, future projects and, and things like that. So um, anyway, guys, uh, we're going to call it a wrap for today. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.